Arsenal underwent serious change in the summer as Arsene Wenger's 22-year reign came to an end. The Frenchman was renowned for his laissez-faire approach, giving freedom to individual talent and imposing a free-flowing attacking game on the opposition. His successor, Unai Emery, could not be more different. During successful spells as manager of Valencia, Sevilla and Paris Saint-Germain, Emery earned a reputation for his obsession with details. He, unlike Wenger, prefers structured football and is open to altering strategy depending upon the opponent. Thus, his challenge at the Emirates Stadium was not only to improve results, but to change a tactical culture that had been ingrained over decades. So far, Emery has lined his Arsenal side up in a 4-2-3-1 formation, though, in keeping with his aforementioned flexibility, he has experimented with the back three in Europe and a 4-4-2 shape in the 5-1 away win over Fulham. When attacking, this 4-2-3-1 becomes more of a 2-4-4, with both fullbacks pushing high down their respective flanks and the wingers coming inside to join the attacking midfielder and striker. These movements are not done only to increase the number of viable passing options for the player in possession, but to undermine the opponent's defensive structure. When building out from the back, Arsenal centre-backs are typically given three forward options. They may go diagonally out wide to the fullback, inside to the nearest central midfielder, or vertically to the winger in the inside channel. The number of possibilities available, as well as the staggering of players on different lines, allows for multiple passing combinations to effectively advance possession. Emery's high positioning of the fullbacks, Hector Bellerin and Nacho Monreal, allows the wingers to take up more central roles, meaning at least two players are operating between the lines of opposition defence. This causes a decisional crisis for the opposition. Should they sensibly decide to protect the centre and block passes through to Arsenal's attacking players, space is freed up in the wider zones for Bayerin and Monreal to receive and drive forwards. The positioning of the Spanish duo can also stretch the opposition backline horizontally, drawing out their opposite men and creating space in the inside channels for one of Arsenal's attackers to move into and exploit. This ploy was used consistently and successfully against Chelsea, who were still getting used to playing with a back four under Maurizio Sarri. In order to facilitate the movement of both fullbacks, Emery asks his central midfielders to stay close to the central defenders in build-up. This helps to safely bypass the first line of pressure and also provides stability in case of a turnover, something Arsenal often lacked towards the end of Wenger's reign. The tactical profiles of players chosen for the central midfield roles only underline this increased focus on stable possession. Usually Granite Xhaka will start alongside one of Lucas Torreira or Matteo Ganduzzi. None of the three are particularly risky passers, and all are aggressive defenders. Defensively, the most obvious change implemented since Emery succeeded Wenger has been a higher and more active back line. This makes Arsenal a far more compact unit without the ball, making them tougher to play through due to the reduced distance between players and lines. However, a lack of pace in central defence has caused issues when trying to catch opposing strikers offside. The recent introduction of Bernd Leno, a sweeper-keeper signed in the summer from Leverkusen, in place of Petr Cech, may help to solve this problem. Emery is not afraid to switch defensive systems, moving away from a 4-2-3-1 to deploy a clear 4-4-2 shape against Fulham. This gave Arsenal better access to Fulham's back three, improving their chances of success when passing. In future, the 4-4-2 system may also help to fit in Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang alongside Alexandre Lacazette up front, allowing the pair to combine with one another in advanced areas and look to get behind defences. Results may have picked up of late, though the transition post Wenger has been far from smooth. As well as issues with the high defensive line, there have still been too many giveaways in build-up, while Meza Ozil has struggled to find his best form in the nominal right-wing berth. However, offensively and defensively, Arsenal are a more organised and versatile outfit, thanks to Emery.